This is a puppy. I like puppies and you probably like puppies too and there's a simple reason why. Whether you're young or old, a guy or a girl, and no matter where you live and what you do, puppies are adorable. Quite simply, the cuteness of a puppy crosses all bounds of age and race and gender. And it turns out that there's a car with a similarly universal level of cuteness and appeal that's been loved by the masses the world over. Let's take a closer look. Here it is, the Volkswagen Beetle, seen here in the latest special edition version of the latest generation Beetle with a package that goes old school. It's the Beetle Classic Convertible, and though Beetle on its own turns heads and draws people in for a closer look in any model variant, this new special classic edition turns that to 11. And funny thing really is it's just a few cosmetic tweaks. This special paint color, this brown fabric top, these specially designed cloth seats inside of a cabin that's accented by panels painted to match the body of the car. And especially with these fantastic looking retro dish heritage wheels that call the original Beetle to mind and look like the coleslaw shredding attachment on my food processor. Mainly this classic edition model is an appearance package though it's built on the new Beetle platform and there's plenty more to love than just how it looks. This new engine for instance, it's a 1.8 liter turbocharged 170 horsepower four cylinder and more importantly thanks to that turbo and some direct injection it has a heap of low end torque so it's pleasingly responsive at low revs and never feels like it's working hard. Drive gently and that abundant torque gets this bug rolling with minimal revs and barely a peep. All units are front wheel drive and the tester got a six speed automatic. If you're in a staying connected on the go, you'll love this new infotainment center. Proximity sensors activate selected on-screen buttons and animations like magic as you reach for the screen. And very importantly, you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Plug your phone in, make a Bluetooth connection and key functionalities from your handset are upscaled right into the main screen. With the very latest in smartphone connectivity, you literally get access to most smartphone features with the interface, appearance, and gestures you're used to right on the dash. You can even activate Siri or talk to Google with the steering wheel mounted button. Very slick. Elsewhere on board, simple little touches add to the appeal too. So at first glance in here, it's really the colors and textures and materials that will grab your attention, but when you get to spending a bit of time in the Beatles cabin, you realize they've done an awfully good job of making sure that you've got storage space all around you for all your little stuff. Look, I've got a pocket down here in the door, good for my wallet, nice deep bin down here in the center console with some recharging ports for my cell phone. There's covered storage right there under my arm. And this space here is great. Usually that's wasted space, but they've even managed to put a little compartment in here for your snacks or whatever. And I love this bit up here on the dash. If you're into snacking on the go, you just put your food in there and it's not going anywhere. And when you're on the move, you'll likely note that typically Volkswagen attention to detail in terms of ride quality, handling and steering. Those elements feel dialed in and nicely calibrated. Even rougher roads are handled with ease. The suspension is road trip ready, comfortable, but not so much that the shocks feel like they're made of cheese whiz. And the steering is one finger light and very quick at low speeds for parking while heavying up nicely at highway speeds to feel locked onto the road. There's big torque and front wheel drive, but no torque steer and the brakes feel more precise and powerful than they need to. And all here's a ride that hits a little harder than the average and feels tuned for hours of cruising top down or otherwise, perhaps to take in the fall colors. And if it's cold, front seat passengers can stay warm top down to about five degrees with a little bundling up, a strong heater, a good fan and notably hot heated seats helping keep things warm inside. You don't lose any trunk space with the roof down since it has its own hiding spot, though you do lose some rear seat space. These will fit adults in a pinch, but are probably best left for the smallest passengers you can find. And the roof won't well, just hit this button and it's up or down in short order. You don't even have to stop since it works up to 50 clicks an hour. So I'm not the sort of guy who likes a cute car or a convertible or who is too concerned with color coordinated seat accents to match my roof or color coordinated interior trim to match my paint. I guess I'm not that fabulous. But what I will say are two things. One is that nobody who gets close to this car leaves unaffected. Everyone stops and looks. Most say they love it. Some say it's hideous, but nobody gets away without a reaction. And second, looks aside, there's something sort of magical about convertible driving in the fall with the beautiful colors out on the trees and accenting the beautiful colors of this car. I had so much fun photographing it too. And I'm not a fashionista, which is a word that Volkswagen uses to describe this Beetle's target shopper, but there is more to love than just how this car looks. Complaints, nothing major. Rear seat room is tight for adults. Trunk space is adequate, nothing more. And some of the interior trimmings and controls are getting a bit dated. 
but let's sum up this unique, beaming, high style and high value attention grabbing version of the new bug, shall we? Mileage on my watch proved decent, landing at 8.3 liters per 100 clicks with that turbocharged punch and my heavy foot making fast friends. You'll like the abundant interior storage space, the comfortable ride, above average attention to steering and brake feel, the punchy engine and the fast acting top that works while you're moving, and maybe more than all of that, the very unique looks. The latest smartphone integration tech is fantastic too. You may wish for a little bit more of a premium feel to some of the interior controls and trimmings, and maybe some more modern controls and switches to help match that ultra-modern infotainment system. Also, if you're an adult sitting in the back seat, you'll probably wish for more space for your knees. End of the day, here's a nice-to-drive, punchy, efficient, and attention-grabbing convertible with exclusive looks and equipment, all at a price considerably less than the norm for an exclusive special edition drop top. The Beetle Classic Convertible comes only fully loaded at 28.5 and a half. Thanks for watching.